Yo, what's up, guys? It's Rico Lumpkins, aka the Vet Boy. So today I'm gonna do a tutorial on Auto Tune versus Melodyne. I've had numerous uh, email requests asking me to do that. So I'm gonna do that today. Maybe you can use some of the techniques in your applications. All right, let's go. All right, guys. So Auto Tune versus Melodyne. I use Auto Tune for. Uh, slightly different uh, techniques and applications than I use Melodyne. Auto-Tune if I wanted that more robotic uh, T-Pain uh, process digital uh, effect versus uh, Melodyne which is more of a, a more organic and smoother effect. So I've created uh, this uh, track called Auto-Tune versus Melodyne in Ableton Live 8.2.6 is Auto-Tune Versus Melodyne. So as you can see, this is I'm definitely tune. not a singer. So for all your producers out there, uh, please get you a real vocalist <laughs> if you're going to be doing some records or demos for that matter. Anyway, so let's start off with Auto Tune, and what you do here is just uh, double click or drag. Auto Tune VST from the VST folders, a third party plugin. So it works here, it works in, you know, the Windows, uh, it works in uh, Logic and able into uh, Pro Tools, etc. First thing you want to do is find out the key of the song. And I use Mixed in Key 5. Auto Tune uh, versus Melodyne is an E flat minor with a tempo of 130. If you come here to analyze songs and just from your hard drive, click and drag your uh, AIFF wave or MP3 file. It'll analyze it for you and then put it in the browser collection and tell you. Okay. So with that being said, I'm going to change this to E flat. But what I do is I keep mine on chromatic. You can change it to minor or major. It gives you different uh, re uh, fields of, of responses with these different scales, so to speak. Uh, but chromatic has every note in the scale. Um, here in the Western world. Uh, next thing you want to do is choose the type of uh, vocalist, which is an alto tenor. I'm an alto, more or less. And uh, let's listen to it now versus the original. And you'll see in the percentage uh, window here, it's going to tell me how far off I am from the note, whether I'm a slightly flat or slightly sharp. This is out of tune versus melodyne. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's get that robotic feel. So that, that fixed me pretty decently. You know, it wasn't so bad, but it wasn't the greatest either. Um, so if I wanted to give me more of a digital process sound, I go here to my retune speed, and I'm going to put it all the way up to zero. So let's listen to that. This is auto-tune versus melodyne. So it gave me a little bit of that... Uh, T-Pain thing and you can fine-tune that what I normally do is I change it uh, my vibrato over here to either sign or square let's do square since there's like a digital type of song and then let's slightly pitch me up to like 30 these are in, in percentages uh, so let's listen to that this is auto tune versus melodyne okay so I know a few people that have changed this to give them different responses as well. So, but be conscious. If I wanted more of an instrument sound, you put it on instrument. It can actually even fix some instruments like bass guitar, and um, or if you have a low note, um, you could put bass instrument on there, and it gives you more of a, a, a instrument sound on your vocals rather than a, a vocalist. Another demonstration I want to show you here is um, the difference between chromatic and minor. Since I know it's E flat minor, so now let's compare it to E flat minor to, versus chromatic. This is auto tune versus melodyne. Somewhat more of a desired effect or not desired, just depending on what you want. Uh, but you see what happened here. It changed the, the scale to D sharp minor, which is the same as E flat minor. Okay, if you don't know keys um, or key signatures, I would recommend just at least getting a, a piano and just uh, play the notes that you think they're supposed to be because the next uh, part I'm going to show you versus automatic correction mode is what I've been in. Let's go up to graphical mode. 
So um, now the automatic is not in, in going to work right now. It's going to sound like the regular. Okay. This is auto tune versus melody. All right. So what I want to do here is hit graph and go to track. And push play, and you'll see it'll draw, it'll analyze and draw uh, my curves uh, for me, my note curve. This is auto tune versus melody. Take that off and increase that vertical as well as horizontal. Okay, and you could see basically is is telling me what notes I was supposed to hit. I wasn't too far off. I mean, it wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't the worst either. So um, let me come here. And I'm actually going to draw my notes in. This is just the way I do it. Uh, I know there's different ways people like select all of the curves and move them all at one time. But essentially what I'm doing here is I'm just drawing the notes. See, I'm a little sharp here, so I'm going to bring him back down. And a little sharp there, so I'm going to bring that down there. See? I, I just kind of know where the notes need to be. And this is my vibrato at the end, so I'm just going to draw that straight through. Uh, and this one's probably supposed to be an F sharp, which is actually a G flat, whichever. Same thing. So now let's listen to the whole thing. This is out of tune versus melody. So that's the way you can kind of use auto-tune like Melodyne because Melodyne does it this way, all right? And this gives me more of a, a natural, organic feel. Is it time-consuming? Yes, it is. Um, it's, there's no magic button to this. You're going to have to get in and do it. But nevertheless, I mean, your results are going to be desirable. So uh, we won't get into automation or anything right now. That's another in-depth tutorial uh, yet to come. All right, so that's auto tune. Let's go into melody. This is a